Hi, welcome back to the Rob Roy Project. I have to apologise about the lighting in advance, it's a bit rubbish. I'm still waiting to get another strip light in, but I've lashed a pay torch for now. So, today I thought I would replace a bunch of nuts and bolts with some nice little machine shafts. So first I'm taking it apart a bit, I need to be able to get at everything. I think the side tanks are in the way and, and they're all, so they're going to come off with this nice little set of box spanners I've got. So the lubricator tube will have to have something done with it. I think I'm going to drill a larger hole in the running board so that the tube can be passed through it. I think this will be usable at some point. I'll probably put a taper pin through it rather than that bolt. But it'll be okay for setting it up. So after a bit of a clean up I'm going to take out all of the bolts. These are just BA bolts and the threaded surface on them is no good for a bearing surface. They need to be machined shafts. gear actually works quite nicely but I think there's a bit too much play in certain areas of it and it's not making the timing as easy to do as it should be. See this nut just falls off, that's no good, that's why you don't use nuts and bolts. So yeah, I'll just wind that nut off by hand. The valve gear doesn't actually look too bad. I machined the expansion links quite nicely and I actually turned a huge ring to the right radius to fit in the radius slot so that works quite nicely as well. And these are my small hole gauges, I've been dying to use these on something and finally I found a use for them about a year and a half, two years after I bought them. But they come in handy when, they, when I do need them. That noise you can hear in the background and I suppose the light you can see as well is the blowtorch. I've just got it in the vice. I'm trying to warm it up in my shed at the moment as I haven't got any windows in and it's letting a really cold breeze in. So I couldn't really feel my hands in this either. I'm just going to use a piece of steel bar. It's some relatively tough stuff. It's not just monkey metal or anything. And these are the E-rings that I'm going to use on the end of the little machine shafts. So I'm just going to machine a little groove, doesn't have to be square, just a little groove will do and I'll pinch these in with pliers to make them a little smaller as they're just a touch over size and they'll, they'll look quite nice as you can see, they're about the size. So this is a little shaft I've machined and it goes in quite nice, should be spot on. So the shaft that's going to go in the expansion link in the middle, in that block that you see there, it actually has to be recessed inside the valve gear or else it will collide with the expansion link itself. So you'll see what I do with that in a minute. I'd already done a brass one but it had a thread on the end and it was a bit useless so I remachined that and I made it a better fit. That's the old one there. See the little shoulder on it will just come up to the, the block and stop. It's a bit sloppy, it's a bit rubbish and there's a huge thread sticking out of it and there's no way to tighten it, so out with that. And uh, this one will be a bit better. It's a perfect fit that, just below the surface. See this, the clip went on there and that looks lovely. A lot smarter than that old brass little shaft. 
this next one actually has the back machine to suit the countersink this allows the head to be countersunk you'll see when the snap ring goes on it goes on with a really positive click that's because I, I pinch it in a little bit so it's the right size it's quite satisfying when you get that click as it locates onto the shaft you know it's not going to go anywhere there we go so it's looking quite smart now with all those e-clips on instead of the nuts and bolts and it will work a lot better so it's quite a fiddly job but that's the last pin going in on this side anyway and there's a set of long needle nose pliers sorry about the lighting here it's a bit rubbish again but we'll have some new lighting soon this is a smaller one machined for the top I'll see this goes in a minute so we should connect onto those, I think they're called lift arms I'm not sure, I haven't read the book in a long while correct me if I'm wrong and the e-clip goes on there as well they're quite fiddly to get on but once they're on they're not going to go anywhere and they're quite hard to get off so really they're perfect there we go, that's that one on sorry about knocking the camera as you can see it all goes up and down perfectly just as I want it to I'm going to replace those two grub screws you see on the lift arms and I'm going to put taper pins through but I've got them in for setup at the moment just use a torch to show you everything going back and forth a bit better I just like to mention one thing now YouTube have taken away my monetization and I wasn't really earning anything from it I think only about eight quid on there but the plan always was to try to get some revenue from the channel and use that to put it back into the channel to create better videos and better content and buy new machinery and tooling so in the future I've got a five inch gauge 9f planned so the more views, the more shares I get, the more subscribers I get, the more likely I am to get my monetization back. And hopefully, in the future, we can do some better videos. So, thank you for your support, and thank you for watching the video. And uh, if you could share it around, please, and let people know I'm making this sort of thing, I'd be really grateful. So, thank you.